all these areas where the U.S. forces are deployed. Now, the U.S. forces, as you can see in this blue shape, these are the U.S. bases in the region, and uh, they are all under the range of China. So China can take out in uh, all these bases in one go. So this is the uh, you know reason. Uh, now, uh, what is the area denial capability means that the Chinese are deploying all sorts of capabilities, like for example, submarines, aircraft, um, and uh, warships, just and air defense capabilities, just to protect any any um, you can say aggressive um, action by the United States of America or other country in the region. I think no other country in the region other than the United States of America can take Panga with China. China is way ahead. So this is the reason that um, you know uh, no country uh, in Southeast Asia or East Asia can ever um, uh, you know try to counter or try to um, face China in uh, the, these areas. So uh, these are the Chinese capabilities, and they are very very uh, powerful, and um, they are, are adding up all these capabilities just to protect their core interest areas, state of Malacca and of course south china sea so china would never want any any you know uh, role of us or japan or any other country um, in in south china sea so it has uh, it, it would get say you know uh, repercussions and serious implications for the regional countries um, other than uh, United States of America, uh, India is also one of the countries which is there in Vietnam, in Southeast Asia, and uh, both countries are also uh, competitors. Both had a war in 1962, and India was actually hammered by the Chinese in 1962. So, uh, but uh, the Indians are also, you know, a, a major economy, a major population, one of the most important countries in South Asia, and in the global affairs, they are well connected with the U.S. Russia, European countries. So they also consider themselves as global power. And to achieve their interest, the Chinese are, uh, the Indians are also there in Vietnam. And they are developing the um, Vietnamese share in Kamran uh, Bay area, which is, uh, which is, you know, uh, comes in the South China Sea. So basically, um, that is one of the issues. Uh, which uh, is not welcomed by the Chinese. So India will seek to develop a capability to, uh, to guard the Strait of Malacca in peacetime and block it in during wartime. So this is the uh, you know serious threat for the Chinese interest, of course. India would not be comfortable with a major Chinese capability located in area to protect its trade route, and uh, Indians would always take it as you know um, a threat. And the Chinese were also considered as a threat. Thus, the security situation in the region is highly complicated because both countries have deployed their military capabilities in forward locations. And extra regional powers like United States of America is also operating in this region, which has created actually a very serious situation in the region. So if you look at uh, this uh, region, uh, you will understand that how this region is being uh, you know, controlled by or patrolled by many, many major powers in the region. Uh, piracy is one of the issue, a major issue in the uh, Strait of Malacca. And uh, the Strait Malacca Strait have become notorious for maritime robbery and pirate attacks, as well as uh, for being a transit hub for married black markets and a haven for belligerent non state actors. Indeed, in the area um, around the Strait of Malacca, porous borders and poorly monitored ports allow these threats to infl infiltrate the coastal nations. So there had been many, many such attacks because it's a narrow choke point and um, a daily or daily basis, many, many merchant ships pass through this region. So it is very easy for pirates to target any vulnerable ship. So um, the, there had been many such incidents. And if you analyze uh, from 1995 to 2014, uh, there had been uh, more than 2000 incidents um, in and around state of Malacca. So uh, these incidents, uh, you know, have decreased in recent times because of the collective effort by the regional and extra-regional powers. Um, so other than that, the Indian presence in the region is also one of the major uh, challenge for the um, Chinese. And the Indian Navy, uh, they are planning to deploy its medium-range, uh, you know, surveillance aircraft at its 
farthest uh, air station at uh, in the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. The Indians have got you know Andaman Nicobar Islands, which are close to in close proximity to uh, Southeast Asia. To keep a regular watch on oil and cargo traffic possessing, uh, passing through the strategic state of Malacca and two other crucial sea lanes used to ferry these materials to China and Southeast Asia. So basically, um, the, the Indians are you know, deploying their capabilities in this region just to protect their interests. The aircraft which the Indians are going to deploy, uh, it has a cruise speed of about 430 kilometers. It has a range of about 396 kilometers, which is suitable for this particular operations. And it carries about a payload of about 1900 kg. And uh, it has endurance of about 10 hours. So basically these are the modern capabilities which the Indians are going to deploy in this region just to protect their interest and sea lanes of communication, of course. So Indian presence, if you look at the Indian presence in the region, obviously they are there in Andaman Nicobar Island. They have got their own bases there. And India got uh, bases in uh, Maldives as well. And they are also operating in many other parts of the um, you know, region and uh, in Southeast Asia especially. So the Indians, um, they are, of course, their Navy is bigger and they are operating in this region. The latest long range of service uh, uh, aircraft, PAI, uh, will be based at um, Arakhonam uh, on the Tamil Nadu coast, but will add to the Navy surveillance capability. Now, PHI is highly sophisticated maritime surveillance anti submarine warfare aircraft. This is a US, uh, uh, you know, um, made aircraft, and uh, this is highly, highly sophisticated. It can take out Pakistani submarines, it can take out Pakistani surface ship. And it can also detect incoming aircraft or you know other capabilities. So such capabilities in the region uh, would uh, be you know a serious threat, not only for Pakistan but also for the Chinese interest, maritime interest in the region. To counter China's growing expansion in the Indian Ocean and state of Malacca region, the Indians are you know deploying all these capabilities. Mm -hmm. So this is PHI and uh, this is highly highly sophisticated. Okay, let's now conclude in a, uh, a very brief manner that state of Malacca will remain important for global maritime trade because this is a choke point and this is one of the choke point which is very crucial for the global maritime trade and uh, you know merchant ships. The dependence of China which is the second largest economy and likely to be the number one economy in future and other regional and extra regional powers like Japan, um, like United States of America, European countries, Indians, the competition in this part of the world would you know, increase in future. And it would be a serious, serious uh, security challenge, not only for the regional powers, but also for the global powers. Regional powers must work together to ensure safety and security of this narrow choke point from piracy and must also devise mechanism to avoid any clash collision or disturbance in the region. So this is what the um, Malaysians, Indonesians, Singaporeans, and other countries of the region, they are you know, um, uh, coming up uh, with some strategies to avoid and to overcome these challenges. Collective of, uh, cooperative approach is needed uh, to manage this area. And that will be only beneficial because all countries like India, China, US, all these countries are dependent on this particular area and global maritime trade needs to be free and you know um, without any disruption and only then uh, regional powers and global powers can benefit and they can improve and they can um, further uh, improve their economies so it is imperative for the regional and global actors to work together and to protect state of malacca from piracy from any other threats and only then you can convert this region uh, you know, into uh, you know, a beneficial zone for all, all the state actors and all the extra regional powers uh, who are dependent on this region. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your time. And if you got any question, you can ask now. Thank you very much.